So we are going to um, score a data set that we built out using train data and we're going to score data set that doesn't have the answer. This is our banking example. Remember we were trying to uh, look at a marketing campaign called PEP, <clears throat> whether they participated or not. In this particular data set, we don't have that column. We're going to, this is data that we're going to use to truly run the campaign. So we're going to go ahead and do a, a scoring of the data set. We're going to find our model. Remember, there's other videos that show you how to select which model, but let's say we selected this one. We tell it where the table is with the data to score. It does a one-to-one -one match. And then we can add some output. So we can add um, any of the input columns. But if we have an ID, for example, as an input column, we could add that. We're going to say, let's add the prediction. We have to change the name up here. It doesn't, it doesn't tell you. So we're going to say prediction. And we can actually also add that probability function in case we want to see or our PE score. Let's just call it our PE score. We spoke about this in class. And we're going to say yes is the parameter that we're interested in. And it's going to ask us, do you want to add it to this column or do you want to add it as a new worksheet? Let's do a new worksheet. So now we have our prediction and our PE score for each one of the predictions. So we're going to add a classification using Weka Knowledge Flow. Um, we have run Knowledge Flow using three different models. We used uh, classification matrices and, and lift charts to help us decide which model we, we preferred. So uh, let's say we pick the tree. We're going to right click on the tree node and save that model. And remember where we saved that model because we need to go back and find it. We then create a new where we put the data set that we want to score and we find that data set. Uh, one thing that you have to be aware of is in Weka you need to have, even if, for example, in your project target B is not filled in, you need to have um, a blank target B because you have to do a class assigner and tell her tell it what it is that you want to predict. In this case we're doing the banking data set, we want to predict that PEP. So we're going to come over here and tell it, we have a blank PEP over here, and we're going to tell it fill in PEP. We're going to drop an add classification node, which is under supervised attribute. And in that add classification node, the first thing we're going to do, it doesn't matter what the classifier is up here, we're going to say output a classification output a distribution and th that basically is going to say what how the probability of it being a yes and the probability of it being a no and then we got to go find our model and we're going to come over here and find our model click and select it so that it's in this file I'm then running it to a text viewer we can actually see our data set that way but if you want to save it then you probably want to use a data sync give it an ARF, ARF saver send it that way and then you want to tell it the, the file name so scored bank. You need to get rid of this relation name for file. You get a very long file name and then you have to tell it what directory you want to add it under. So when you run it, a classification is added. You can come over here to the text viewer and see your actual scored data set with the probability for yes and the probability for no. So I predicted yes. 95%, 94% was the PE estimate for yes, and 5% was the PE estimate for no. Um, you probably, uh, if you go over here, then you should be able to find your scored file.